Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you Robo Scratch. So let's get started. So Robo Scratch is a scratch uh, like you can say extension or something that is very different from Scratch. So guys, you can also check out this Scratch Wiki page to know what Robo is actually. You can get every information here. Yeah, like for the Scratch 2 version of this, what corporation has made this and why they have made it, how they have made it, everything you can get here. You can also go to the Robo website and rush your Robo Wiki if you want. It has a Scratch Wiki for itself. You require some type of robots to just use this. Here you can see this is their home page. And it is also made in an older version of Scratch. Here you can see Scratch 3 older version. Like here you can see some changes like this is X. Uh, instead of that delete, delete button. Then we have a bit slow motion here. Then we have four different type of blocks for robot, laboratory, auto and Arduino. Arduino and we have these for controlling robots the this can be used for controlling robots if you have any uh, robots you can get it on scratch website I'll put the link in the description and you can also uh, control them and this is a better one as scratch supports them but this I think is better one and this is a and this is not by scratch itself it is by some ROL RLOA team I think and this has a robo menu too yeah you can see you have a settings and you can just set anything you want for your robot but you can also make your normal games like if i just want a normal game like anything you can just make it that too like here you can see it has all the scratch features but you can also make robots and here you can see it seems to be a bit small and here you can see this has a great fps here you can see it is running at 110 fps like like this is a too much for any computer it even goes off the 60 fps mark and here you can see i haven't made any uh, changes to this fps in this uh, engine i have just removed the fps limiter to 31 and here you can see we have 200 fps and 100 fps in the full screen if you go in the small mode here you can see i go to 240 and more if you have a good pc scratch can run in every anything and everything so you will get 100 fps easily i think but this is a very smooth to make your game you can just use this for making a like a very awesome game like if you wanna run it only on uh, gaming pcs like you can set it for 240 fps and just make a game that will be great and you can also test it by just putting a 0.1 steps and here you can see this is very smooth you can watch each and every step here you might see some like frame skipping if you know what it is so frame skipping is basically uh, if your monitor has a refresh rate of like 75 hertz and the fps he gets it is 80 so it will skip 5 frames if your monitor is good enough to handle this it won't but if it is not good enough, it will show frame skipping. Here you can see the video is being recorded in 60 FPS. So you might be seeing lag. I don't know that. Um, I have a monitor of 75 Hertz and this can handle this frame skipping. So I am not seeing any lag here. So this was all I know of this. You can also con you can control robots here and you can make normal games in 240 FPS like thing. It has a no limit for FPS. The more you, your computer can push, the more you can get, make it. Like my computer can push 200. If you have a 3090 or 6800 XT, you can just go to thousands, if, I think. You can download it from the link in the description and you can also know about the Scratch Olympiad from where I got this, uh, got to know this. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.